Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to create a lovely flower card and I'm going to work with this stamp set. This is a new stamp set from the latest release by Simon Says Stamp and I'm going to work with the hibiscus as well as the leaf. I'm going to stamp my images on watercolor paper and uh, this is cold pressed watercolor paper. You will find the link down below. So I have already put my stamps on uh, my Misty. I'm going to work with archival link, jet black archival link, which is permanent. So when I apply water, it's not going to smear or smudge. I am using my Misty just because my watercolor paper has a little bit of tooth. So I need to stamp all the images twice. I went ahead and stamped the leaf and the flower three times, so I have enough. At this stage, as I am creating and designing my card, I don't really know how many leaves or flowers I need, so I always like to stamp a bunch. To color everything, I'm going to use these pens. These are Aqua Flow pens by Nuvo, and they are actually watercolor pens. And I'm going to move the ink with either this brush that is a watercolor brush, it has water in the barrel, or with a shimmer pen that... Um, does move the ink but at the same time it does uh, add shine on my images so first i'm going to zoom in so you can see exactly what i'm doing i'm going to add a little bit of color at the base of one petal and then i'm going to blend it out towards the other end of the petal with a shimmer pen from time to time i will clean my brush into a cloth as you can see i have one next to me and you see the beautiful blending. Now, if I try to catch the light for you, you will see the beautiful shine. And I will repeat the same process for the rest of the petals as well as for the leaf. I'm going to put on some music so you can see how I colored the flower and my leaf. And then I'll catch you back once everything is colored. And as you can see, I have already colored my flower. Now I am going uh, to color the leaf. And for that, I'm using a different technique. So instead of spreading out the color with the shimmer pen, this time I'm using two, two aqua flow pens, the light and dark green. I am uh, doing the shadows with a darker one and spreading the color out with the light, the light green. And um, just because I want to have consistency on my images, and since I have uh, so much shine on the flower, once I'm happy with the coloring of the leaf, I will go ahead and apply a nice coat of um, shine with the shimmer pen. Now, I always link to all the supplies that I'm using down below in the description area, as well as on my blog. And uh, I also link to multiple shops, so you can check the prices. Now, there is a great deal on these Aquaflow pens. They are on sale, and uh, the sale runs only for the weekend. So, make sure to check uh, the links down below. Now, all my images are colored, and I hope you can see how shiny they are. Now, I don't have uh, the matching dies for this. I don't even know if there are actually. But anyway, I am going to use my scissors and cut out uh, the images. As I am going to cut them out, I will leave a white border around the image that really makes my job easier since I don't have to follow exactly the black lines. Now, if you feel that leaving a consistent white border is uh, difficult for you, there is a trick. You can just... Uh, 
trace around the image with a pencil and then follow the pencil line. At the end, when you cut it out, you can always use your eraser and uh, remove any pencil marks that you might have. Also notice that I am not moving my scissors, instead I am moving the image. This really helps your job. So anyway, now I have uh, cut out all the images, flowers and leaves, and they are ready to go. Now I'm going to bring in my paper cutter and I'm going to cut out my cardstock to create my card base. So I'm going for a, a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. I am going to bring in my scoring board. I have cut my paper into four and a quarter lengthwise and now I'm going to score at five and a half. I'm going to do a nice crease there. And that's how I usually create my top folding cards. Now I am going to use uh, the rest of uh, the um, cutout uh, to create a panel. For that I'm going to use this uh, rectangle die. This is a die by Simon's stamp and it gives a nice stitching. I really love the stitching detail on my panels. I'm going to secure it there and run it through my C6 machine. And I want to create a window on my card. I'm not going for a shaker card today, but I do want to have a nice frame to nest my flowers inside. So for that, I'm going to bring in uh, these dies. These are by Tonic Studios. I'm going to use the third from uh, the larger ones. And uh, I'm going to secure it at the center of my panel to cut out my window. For this card, I am only going to use the frame from these cutouts. So I have that lovely window on the inside and the lovely stitching all around. Now you can of course use the inside for another card. Now I want to add a little bit of uh, sparkle on my background and uh, for that I'm going to use my glimmer paste. This is the pink glimmer paste, you know I love these uh, pastes. And I'm just spreading it all over that uh, piece of cardstock. And as you can see, I'm not using a stencil or anything else. I'm just spreading the paste over my cardstock as if it's butter with my spatula. Now, I am going to make sure that I have a nice even cover. And uh, this is going to go at the back of my window for the background. And I love glitter paste so much because uh, it gives you the opportunity to play with the glitter, but at the same time you are not creating a mess. The glitter is uh, there to stay, it's not going to, when it dries, the paste dries, it's not going to move all on your fingers or all over the place. Now I have applied a very thin layer of paste, so it dried out really quickly, but I did use my heat gun to speed up the drying process. Now everything is nice and dry, and I have created my very own glitter cardstock. I have used my glue gun at the back to apply some tape adhesive and now I'm going to stick that on top of my card base. I'm going to make sure that it's nice and centered. And the idea here is uh, to make sure that I cover up the whole background. So when I place the frame on top, anything uh, is going to be covered on the inside. Now I'm going to add some uh, foam tape at uh, the back of my frame. I'm going to peel off the backing and then stick the frame on top of my card base. And I believe that window frames give you a great way to nest your flowers and you can repeat the same design over and over again with different colors and different flowers and uh, every card will look so different. And of course you can use different window shapes based on the dies that you already have. And first I'm always playing around a little bit with my images just to make sure and decide where I want everything to go and how my flower arrangement is going to be. And then I can commit and stick everything down with foam tape. I also grabbed my white gel pen to add some details on the leaves as well as on the flowers. Just a few highlights here and there. And just because I can never have enough details on a card, I went ahead and grabbed two Jewel Drop uh, Nouveau bottles and I'm going to add some dots with those as well. Now these are Jewel Drops so they are actually translucent but at the same time they have a tint of color. They really add a lovely effect on your cards. And these are on sale as well along with everything you can use for card making so make sure to check my blog. And of course I do have to stamp my sentiment, for that I'm going to stamp hello there on a piece of white cardstock and then I'm going to cut it out. This sentiment comes from the Essential Sentiments by My Favorite Things. This is a stamp set that I use all the time, it's packed with uh, sentiments that you can use on your cards. 
And I'm going to die cut it with this banner die that's by my favorite things as well. So now I'm going to nest it as if it's coming from behind the frame. So I'm going to use my scissors to cut out one end of this banner. I'm going to add some uh, foam tape at the back and then stick it down. And of course you can call this card done, but I wanted to, do it to give more definition on the border of my window. So I grabbed again my white gel pen and I'm going to follow that cut out line and add some faux stitching. I think this helps the frame uh, against the background to pop even more. So that was the card for today. I hope you had fun and got inspired. Don't forget to check my blog for the great sale that is going on this weekend. You will find the link down below in the description area if you are watching on YouTube. And um, if you had fun and got inspired, make sure to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Here are some close-up photos of the card that I made today. And if you need more inspiration, here are two more videos where I am creating cards with flowers. Thank you all for watching and have a lovely weekend!